welcome to my channel today's question is 2 raised to power of sin square x plus 2 raised to power of cos square x that is equal to 3 find the value of x this equation combines with exponential and trigonometric if you are ready to challenge your math skills and learn function something new let's dive in we know that sin square x plus cos square x equal to 1 from this we can write it as cos square x equal to 1 minus sin square x. This cos square x you substitute in our original equation. This cos square x turns into 1 minus sin square x that is equal to 3. This 2 raised to the power of 1 minus sin square x we can write it as 2 raised to the power of 1 times 2 raised to the power of minus sin square x this 2 raised to the power of minus sin square x it is in the form of a power minus m we can write it as 1 by a power m now our equation is 2 raised to the power of sin square x plus 2 by 2 raised to the power of sin square x that is equal to 3 it's look bit complex to simplify this that's why let a equal to 2 raised to the power of sin square x. So then our equation turns into a plus 2 times 1 by a that is equal to 3. Multiply both sides by a and rearrange terms then it gives a square plus 2 that is equal to 3a. So it becomes a square minus 3a plus 2 equal to 0. Factoring the quadratic equation yields to a minus 1, a minus 2 that is equal to 0, then a equal to 1 and a equal to 2. We can set up the following equations 2 raised to the power of sin square x that is equal to 1, 2 raised to the power of sin square x that is equal to 2. This 1 we can write it as 2 power 0. 2 power 0 is nothing but 1. When bases are same, we can equate the powers. So now sin square x equal to 0. Then sin x equal to 0. And here this 2 we can write it as 2 raised to the power of 1. When bases are same, we can equate the powers. So sin square x equal to 1. Then sin x equal to plus or minus 1. So our sin x value is 0 and another sin x value is plus or minus 1. Now let's try to draw a sin graph. This is the x axis and this is the y axis. So this is the point 0. Our sin graph looks like this. Here the x axis represents the angle of radiance. So this is 0 and this point is pi and this point is 2 pi and this point is 3 pi. The y axis represents the corresponding y coordinates on a unit circle. So this is 1, this is the point plus 1 and here the point is minus 1. This point is pi by 2, here the point is 3 pi by 2, here the point is 5 pi by 2. This is the sin graphs looks like. Plotting the graph of sin x, we can see that x equal to 0 at pi, 2 pi and 3 pi. So x equal to 0 at pi, 2 pi, 3 pi and so on. And also we observe that sin x equal to plus or minus 1 at this is the one point that is pi by 2, 3 pi by 2, 5 pi by 2 and so on. Hence, we can say that x is 2n plus 1 times pi by 2. n is an integer. If you substitute n equal to 0, then you will get x equal to pi by 2. If you substitute n equal to 1, then you will get x equal to 3 pi by 2. If you substitute n equal to 2, then you will get x equal to 2 plus 2, 4, 4 plus 1, 5, 5 pi by 2 and so on like that. Hence, we can say that the x 
value is 2n plus 1 times pi by 2. This is our required solution. If you enjoyed this math explanation and want to see more exciting content, be sure to subscribe our channel. Thank you for watching.